Hey family, so Nisha Monet, we back with another video. If y'all have not already joined this squad, this family, baby, the look, I don't know where you've been, I don't know where you've been, but make sure you go like, subscribe, and comment. Make sure you hit the bell so you know when I'm dropping these videos, honey, because you don't want to miss. Um... As y'all can see by today's title, I will be demonstrating how to sleep with the BBL and how to sit with the BBL. A lot of people have asked me for this video and even myself before I got my BBL, I was looking and looking and I probably found one video, one good video where they demonstrated this. So I want to come today and do this for y'all. Um, if you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and baby, follow me on IG, honey, at the underscore prime example. Of course, I will put it somewhere in this humble abode. I will drop it somewhere. And y'all, baby, why go join that couple's channel at Nuke and Niche? Because me and babe, we finna get it. We finna get it popping. So videos dropping soon. All right. So y'all don't want to miss that fun. Um, so yeah, we gonna just basically get right into it i will be demonstrating how to sleep um but first i do want to put this disclaimer out there and let you ladies know you should not be sitting none of that none of that don't bend sit none of that for the first three weeks after your surgery personally i waited about a month before i decided to sit down about a month month and a half before i actually sat down only because i know that i didn't have i didn't get like no big 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 butt so the fat cells that i had or have i wanted to keep them i didn't want my fat cells to die um so yeah, I just waited a little bit longer. I waited until I was comfortable to sit down. You may be comfortable to sit down earlier than I was. You know, everybody's body is different. Everybody heals differently. Um, so yeah, I just want to put that disclaimer out there. So when you get home, don't try to just come and sit and lay how I'm going to demonstrate. Well, you can lay down, but make sure you stay in your stomach. Okay? Okay. So yeah, let's get right into it, y'all. The first thing that I'm going to show you guys is how to, like, you want to sit up on the couch or if you want to lay on the couch just to feel comfortable. Because for me, I got tired of sleeping on my stomach. It's annoying. Granted, I'm still sleeping on my stomach and we are on, what, month three? So, yeah. Like, but, yeah. Anyways, don't mind the way that I'm about to show y'all with these pillows that I have. I had to work with what I had at home because, honey, I don't know how y'all make y'all coins, but I spent enough money on this body and <clears throat> Nisha Monet is all for real, okay? If you would like to go out and buy what is called a wedge pillow, it has a slant. They typically use those pillows in physical therapy, things of that nature, um, and it's a lot more comfortable to kind of push your legs up, which I'll show you with the pillows. Um, but yeah, I'll put a picture of it probably over here. So that way you can see what the pillow looks like. And also there's a pillow that, I don't know. I mean, y'all should know what they are. They like around, it's like a little decorative pillow, but it's circular, it's like a cylinder, like it's round or whatever. And that will go under your back. I'll also put a picture somewhere up in here so you can see what two main pillows you need so that way if you want to go buy that versus using all the pillows that i'm really about to show y'all that i use be my guess no need to keep spending money on it. so yeah let me show you guys so what i do is i take this pillow um you don't have to have a sectional couch to do this you can have a regular couch and do this as well um what i do is take my pillows off the big ones we want to pull this down so y'all have that space right here. Your peach is gonna sit up in here, okay? Take your two pillows, put them right here. That's what you're gonna elevate your legs on. 
Now, for me, I told y'all see, I've been. <laughs> Y'all, y'all seen that supply list, baby. I didn't use this pillow since day one of surgery. And it's dead. It's dead. But anyways, what I do is I take it and I roll it up. Some people, oh, well, I can show y'all how I do it with the body pillow and also how I do it with my bobby pillow. Just in case you don't want to basically do all of this. Um, I put this here. Y'all can see, I put it on this part here. And then, put your legs up. Put that donk right inside the couch. Okay, and you wanna move it up. So this way, y'all, this be a little hard. Okay, so, we in here so if you want to prop yourself up a little further i normally maybe put the bobby pillow behind me kodak go <laughs> i normally put the bobby pillow behind me and then i go ahead and i have my neck pillow just for that extra support and yes your butt sir sir thank you okay so now that kodak is now sitting down um, this is not perfect of how I normally have it, but you guys get the gist. Uh, my butt is in between the couch pillows, and that way it's not touching. It may look like it's touching, but my butt is not touching the bottom of the couch. Your butt is secure. Your hips are secure. Um, you just letting it hang, but that way you can sit up, watch TV. Um, if you want to adjust your pillows to really lay back, and you'll be even more higher, or if your legs... So the wedge pillow will go here under your legs and your legs will be more in a slant versus how mine are just kind of straight. I normally have an extra pillow right here to elevate me more, but I just wanted to give you guys the gist of how you would sit, but you can adjust it how you want to adjust it. Um, that decorative pillow, that circular um, pillow um, will go under your back. So. It will be here, and that way you can adjust your back and your butt, and you just kind of let your butt hang in between. I wanted to show y'all um, another way. Like, if you didn't, if you had to use what you have at home, instead of you using the body, the body pillow to go under your back, if you want it a bit more firmer, let's say if you have a body pillow and then a neck pillow, you can put the neck pillow, what I did prior, uh, before, was I put the neck pillow inside of my body. And that way you have it, it's a little bit firmer. So then you can put the boppy pillow here and then you can kind of, now you wanna do one leg kind of like how I'm doing now, it might be sore for you if you're just now doing this and you're not used to sitting, but and you wanna just lean back. That way it's a little more firmer. I gotta pull up a couch in. Like I said, y'all will be doing a lot of adjusting, but it helps. So now it's firmer. Even though the pillow is here, it's okay for it to touch maybe the top of your butt just a little bit, but your butt for the most part is still hanging here in the couch and your hips are rested as well. I'm about to go on and uh, show y'all how to sit. I work from home. So if you all work from home, you can get your sit on and still work. Don't be lazy, boo. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna put the pillow on the chair, make sure you have the Mia Aesthetics part, well, whoever you go to, have the more thicker part towards the back. What you're gonna do, just sit it right there, easy and simple. Sit on back. Now, as you can see, my butt is not on the pillow at all. I'm more, I'm putting all my pressure on my thighs. The pillow, I, I don't know why they call it a butt pillow when it's for your thighs. Like, that ain't got nothing to do with me. Yeah. There you go. 
That's how you sit, honey. Make sure your butt is hanging off and it's on your thighs. And uh, adjust it how you need to. And that's it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, so far, I'm trying to sit without sitting. Because I'm still not sitting on my butt. Um, so I have three ways that you can sit slash sleep in the bed. Um, y'all ignore this room, okay? I've been trying to decorate this room for like a year and a half now, and somebody just won't let me be great. He got this room looking like a little frat boy room, and I'm over it. I am a girly girl. Like, we belong in luxury. You got me over here sleeping in slumshery whatever that is but yeah sleep way number one now i'm gonna do it this way just i'm gonna just do it this way so y'all can see you don't have to sleep slanted you can sleep normal like this but obviously i just want y'all to see so i got my little pillow when it was alive and popping it was a little more lively than this but yeah lay the body pillow down Lay your pillow down, and boom, here we go. You want to be on your stomach. Now, typically for me, if you can see that I'm slightly leaning towards my right, just so you can have a little bit more comfort and kind of put that leg up. Again, you don't have to sleep diagonal. Um, you can sleep one way or however, whichever way you want to sleep. I'm just demonstrating. This way. Or if you need to turn your body, lay it on the stomach. You can turn this way and kind of prop that leg up. Just lean slightly. Do not lean on your side. Like, don't do this. You just want to be here. Or here, sis. And you got that leg propped up and you good. Way number one. Way number two. Some people, in case you don't have a body pillow, which I strongly suggest that you get one. This is, you should get that while you in whatever city getting your surgery because it definitely helps with the car rides. Or, um, so this is another way in case you don't, like I said, in case you don't have the, pill, the body pillow. And of course you would have whatever pillow you're going to lay your head on. Um... You would just take this area, like your pelvic area, and just lay. And I, like I said, I'll sit with your pillow here. And you're good. You're elevated. Your butt is in the air. Um, and yeah. Try to find you, like, whatever pillow your head is going to be on, try to find one that's um, a little bit elevated so your back won't hurt. Uh, my back and my neck, like my shoulders, were was hurting really bad when I started to sleep on my stomach because, one, I'm not used to it. I'm a side sleeper. But also, when your body is not aligned, that hurts. So try to find a pillow where you can align also with your hips. And that way you can just sleep kind of up like this, your pillow. You can still lean to the side just a little bit just so you can get comfortable. And that's that. That's way number two. Okay, so we have way number three. Um, I will be starting off by using this pillow. Now, you do not have to, <laughs> y'all do not have to use the couch pillow. It, like I said in the beginning, if you go get the wedge pillow, or if you just have some like regular size, like your regular pillows at home, you can take these and you can stack them up. Um, just make sure that they're not too soft because you want it to be firm. That way your legs can sit up and you can be comfortable and you're not having to adjust all the time. So that's why I used my couch pillow. Just I like I said, I have to use what I had because baby. I was not spending no more money, like, no. So, yeah. Way number three, just so you can sit up in the, um, sit up in the bed and watch TV. And then we're going to put this right here. Because, again, 
too much, too much. Put the rolly thing right here. Okay, sis. All right, bam. <laughs> but okay, now y'all can get the gist. You wanna adjust this and pull it up. That butt is not touching on the bed. Well, mine might be mine. Yo, it's okay to touch just a tad, but not just slamming it down. It's here for more majority of, of it is not touching. Your legs are elevated, hips are you know proportionate and relaxed. And yes, you can now watch TV and sit up. And you'll be good to go. So that is that is way number three. And also, I am going to do a video for these fajas, you guys. This is my stage two faja, but we'll get into that later. I can't stress enough how important it is for you to sit correctly, to lay correctly. Make sure you land on your stomach. Also, the way that I showed you guys how I was sitting in the chair, that's the same way that you would put your pillow inside of your car. Like, you would just sit the same way. Um, yeah, you don't want those fat cells to die because you didn't pay all that money to get it sucked out of here and put down here just to lose it again because you wanted to sit on your butt too early or because you was uncomfortable. It's an uncomfortable procedure. Um, you have to trust the process. The process is, you know, three to six months. Really, people say a year. However, you should be able to sit down or lay down without your pillow at least by three months, at the least, at the minimum, three months. I advise that you maybe continue to sleep on your stomach or maybe the ways that I've demonstrated, I would say five to six months. I'm going to try it. I'll let y'all know how this is going when I do my four-month post-op video. So, yeah. Make sure you guys go like, subscribe, and comment on this video. I would love to hear feedback. I would love to hear, you know, videos that you all want to see, whether if it's BBL related or not. Um, yeah, I want to know. Also, if y'all have not watched that Fashion Nova video, y'all are missing out because I bought some bomb outfits. And I would definitely love for you guys to go back and watch that. Um, if you have not watched the BBL journey video, I would love for you guys to go watch that. First of all, thank y'all so much for getting me to, I think I'm at like 160 something K views now. So I was excited about that. Um, and I told you guys in that last video, I'm going to do a giveaway. If I can get to, we already got the 100 K views on the BBL journey video. So Boop boop to that. And, but we need those subscribers to get to 5,000. I need 5,000 subscribers and then I will do a giveaway. Um, I don't know what type of giveaway yet. By the time I do my next video or maybe two videos from now, I don't know what I'm gonna do. And I will give you guys the instructions on how the giveaway is going to go. I'm excited because I love giving back. I love supporting people who support me. Um, so yes, if we can get to 5,000 subscribers, I'm excited. I can't wait for the giveaway. Um, but again, thank you for watching this video. Tell me what you think. Make sure you go like, subscribe, and comment. Make sure you hit that bell so you'll know when I'm dropping videos, honey, because you don't want to miss this. This channel is getting lit and we're only going up from here. So, let me tell y'all, Nisha Monet, baby, is what? Here to stay and we slay all day.